This evening we're going to be making liver. Now, I'm gonna be very honest and upfront. Liver is not my favorite food, but it has a ton of vitamins and minerals in it. And I hate to see anything go to waste. It's got a very strong flavor, which can be off-putting for some people. So my goal this time is to give some tips and tricks to try and reduce that flavor and make it more palatable for somebody who's not used to eating it. So the very first step is we're gonna soak our liver in milk. And this has been soaking for roughly two days. I just put it in a Ziploc bag with the milk and put that in the fridge and let it sit. I've now taken it out, drained the milk, and we're gonna slice it up into thin slivers. As we do that, if we have any of this kind of tough tissue that we wanna get rid of, we can throw that out. But we're just going to, again, nice thin slivers, and we're gonna do that with the entire liver. Now that our liver is all sliced up into nice smaller pieces, we are ready for the next step and that is breading. In here, I've just got flour. To that flour, I like to add a little bit of seasoning. Again, doing that will help to cut down on some of the strong flavor. I usually go with a Cajun seasoning, but whatever your taste preferences are, anything you wanna add, will do just fine. So we're going to just take the pieces, give them a little coat, only add a couple pieces at a, at a time because they tend to stick to each other. So if you just throw the whole heap in there without getting them a little bit coated first, you're gonna find that some of the sides will stick to each other and they won't get fully coated. Our next step is going to be to cook our liver. So I have a large cast iron and that just has butter and we're over a medium flame. In that I am sauteing some leeks, garlic, and some mushrooms. And once we have those cooked to our liking, we can just scrape them off to the side a little bit, making sure we've got some butter at the bottom of the pan and we're just going to add our liver. We want to always make sure that we've got enough butter. Obviously our flour is going to soak up a little bit of the butter, but if we don't have enough butter or another oil on the bottom of the pan, it's going to stick and burn to the pan a little bit. So just be conscious of that. cook it a little bit at a time, let it get cooked, and then just bring it over to the side and throw it on top of the onions and mushrooms. So when we are done cooking, we're ready for a plate. The last little tip is that I like to eat it with mashed potatoes and with that, you can throw some gravy on top, mix it with the mashed potatoes, eat it all together. And again, that's gonna help uh, mask the flavor a little bit. This is an incredibly nutritious piece of meat. I don't like to waste it, but it can be off-putting if you don't cook it correctly, especially if you're not used to it. So again, we've got four or five different little tips that we can do to kind of help reduce that strong flavor associated with it. So soaking it in milk for at least one day, step number one. Step number two, when we add our breading, we can put some seasoning in the breading to again, mask the flavor a little bit. Number three, we're gonna cook it in butter with garlic, with onions, with some other flavors. And step number four, we can eat it with something like a gravy to again, impart some different flavors on it. And there you have it.